Thank the senator. For what purpose, the senator from Northwestern Fairfax, Senator Boyce, go rise. Thank you, Mr. President. I rise for a point of personal privilege. Thank you, Senator. You have the floor. Thank you, Mr. President. Ladies and gentlemen of the, the Senate, um, in celebration of Black History Month, I'd like to talk about someone that I don't know, but uh, who I greatly admire. Um, it is one of my heroes named Brian Stevenson, who is still working hard today, but his ancestors were born right here in Caroline County, where they served as slaves. But now, he has spent his career primarily in my home state of Alabama, fighting for social justice against mass incarceration, helping hundreds of minors and adults who have been wrongly sentenced to death as the founder of the Equal Justice Initiative. Under his leadership, the EJI has won major legal challenges, eliminating excessive and unfair sentencing, exonerating innocent death row prisoners, confronting the abuse of the incarcerated and the mentally ill, and aiding children who have been prosecuted as adults. Mr. Stevenson has successfully argued several cases in the United States Supreme Court and recently won a historic ruling that, manda that mandatory life without parole sentences for all children 17 ages or younger are unconstitutional. Mr. Stevenson is his, and his staff have won reversals, relief, or release for over 115 wrongly condemned prisoners on death row. Mr. Stevenson has initiated major new anti-poverty and anti-discrimination efforts that challenge the legacy of racial inequity in America, including major projects to educate communities about slavery, lynching, and racial segregation. Mr. Stevenson's work fighting poverty and challenging racial discrimination in the criminal justice system has won him numerous awards, including the prestigious MacArthur Foundation Genius Prize. He's worked to bring these issues to the public eye in his book that I really was touched by called Just Mercy, which I highly recommend everybody in this body read, sharing personal stories of those who have been treated unjustly in our prison and judicial system, documenting the 30-plus years of his work to challenge the system. Here in Virginia, those of us right here in this room have been working to address the same issues surrounding that disenfranchisement, working to address mental illness and the school-to-pipeline prison and judicial reform. And, you know, today it feels very fitting to recognize the work that Brian Stevenson has done as we celebrate Black History Month. Thank you so much. Thank the senator.